side. Buckles, get your cat meters at hand because it's over. Finetto, over, gone. Denzel, Activision just quit, cut, cut the support. They ended Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. You do not believe me? Let me get into it, okay? Drop a thumbs up. Get your cat meters, guys, because this is truly wild. I don't think you're gonna be the, you're gonna walking the same way you enter in this video, okay? So clench your butt cheeks and Bruh. check this out, okay? So Charlie Intel just came out. They say that news, uh, Bloomberg reports that Dishy, a dish fall, a new Call of Duty game, started as expansion to Modern Warfare 2, but turned into a full premium release with continuation of Modern Warfare 2 story. New multiplayer content and more. And this is something we heard like months and months ago that you know, we're not gonna be getting a Call of Duty game this year. It's apparently gonna be a DLC. It's gonna be $70. And a lot of people went into coma after hearing that and a lot of people just couldn't even compute. And some people were kind of shaking. Oh, oh, I'm shaking. Some people were really happy by the fact that maybe this is gonna be the year we're not gonna get a brand new Call of Duty game. But guess what? We were wrong, wrong because apparently this happened quickly after and also we recently had like gta 6 tech gameplay demo dead ass i will link you that video at the end so something to be excited about i guess but as of now bloomberg says plans it, th this is coming from jason Schreier from bloomberg by the way says planning close to carry over modern warfare 2 content into the new title wait what yo pump the brakes man a lot of people are kind of sus with this situation a lot of people started calling oh the homie young oh yeah. my god and oh the situation here is that initially this game was supposed to be a DLC. It wasn't even supposed to be a game, I should Bruh. say. It was supposed to be a DLC that would continue the storyline, the campaign for Modern Warfare 2. But still, they wanted to charge $70. But now they are thinking and they are saying their own words, guys. You're not going to believe it. Okay, check this. Uh, I will ch uh, read you this. Activision goal is for the new Call of Duty to feel like a standalone full price release and also an extension of Modern Warfare 2 said people familiar with the project. The current plan is for the game to carry over maps and modes from last year's shooter. The people said, although they cautioned that plans may change again between now and the release this fall, Oh, shit. Oh, but shit. Activision has made several changes to the blockbuster schedule after the 2021 entry in the series failed to meet expectations. I mean, we know, we know, we know. They're literally talking about Van Garbage, Slushy's favorite Call of Duty. And at this point, I'm convinced that even Slushy don't like it. Somebody get that, get that bozo out there, okay? But the situation that is so wild is the falling. This falling, okay? You might want to clench your butt cheeks for this one, guys. Check this. The expansion was planned to be big. They're talking about Modern Warfare 2 DLC. That was the plan initially. It was supposed to be big with a single player campaign and several multiplayer maps and eventually it morphed into a full game release sledgehammer and i quote sledgehammer's new modern warfare game the name is still unclear but will probably not be modern warfare 3 thank god and they are saying that it is now slated for this fall, the people said declining to be named because they weren't authorized to speak to the press. Activision spokesperson Neil Wood noted the company has announced that a premium Call of Duty game will arrive this year and that they had nothing new to share. Bombaka! Guys, everybody, okay, gather on. <laughs> The, the situation here, translate, moral of the story. They, they were working on this DLC that they wanted to charge $70 for. They saw they had a lot of content. Their words, not mine, okay? You look at Modern Warfare 2, ended up releasing with 10, 10 multiple MS, 3 years, 3,000 devs. And they are saying apparently that's a lot of content. And this DLC that they're working on ended up getting big, huge, humongous, massive, right? As they would like to say. It was so massive that now they're saying we're going to end up making a standalone brand new game. That's what they're saying. Bruh. And I wouldn't be surprised if this game turns out to be that one campaign and seven multiplayer maps. Bruh. Too big, too large, guys, too large. Give it up for Activision. Uh, drop a thumbs up. Can I brother get a massive like for this one? I mean, if Activision can charge you, uh, charge y'all $70, can I brother charge you one like, guys? <laughs> but it does not end there. Bloomberg also reports that some at Slanthammer Games are worried about the development. We know. We know they are worried, guys. I mean, damn it, man. The devs are worried. That's not a good sign about the development because of the shortened period they've had to work on it. Only starting on the project one year ago. But they have support from Treyarch and Infinity War on the project. Bruh. Yo, what the f I cannot compute this dog. The, you guys gotta understand this, okay? Modern Warfare 2, Infinity War took three years. 
3,000 deaths, 3,000 men power, real souls, alive, fully alive, working men, working women. They use all of those bimbos, all of those bozos to produce Modern Warfare 2. Ended up releasing what? One campaign, 10 multiplayer maps, two of them were cucked. Uh, spec off, so it's just kind of half big. DMZ, a lot of people loved it right now. A lot of people are like, eh, I don't want to even play it. That's what people are saying. That's it. Warzone 2, uh, they made Warzone 2 and then they cut sections from it and made Modern Warfare 2. Damn, three years. And now Sledgehammer Games are saying that, guys, uh, we're only going to be getting one year. Bro, one year. I don't know, guys. Uh, some current and former employees of Sledgehammer Games are worried about the schedule, which has given the company less than two years to develop the game. A similar schedule for the studio previous game, 2021 Call of Duty Vanguard, which led to a difficult period. <laughs> we know, but guys, they ended up getting a tech demo gameplay for Modern Warfare uh, for GTA 6. Deadass. Check this video out on the screen or click the video on this uh, on the left because Nero Cinema Channel, Call of Duty YouTuber, massive YouTuber, ended up getting taken down. Check this videos out guys they don't want you seeing that and i will see you right there